Hey guys, it's Marvi and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and showing you guys all of my recent Sephora purchases for the ongoing Sephora Spring Savings event. So if you guys know anything about this sale, this sale is a really, really big deal to me. I always joke around that it is my Super Bowl and it is my Roman, Roman Empire. Um, they Sephora does this sale twice a year. They do it in the spring in April and they do it in the fall uh, fall winter ish um, around November. So I love this sale. I literally put things in my cart and in my loves tab ready for this sale. Um, it is, you know, just my favorite thing. So if you are a Rouge member with Sephora, you get 20% off and that started April 5th. And if you are a VIP, uh, VIB member, then um, I think the sale is 10% off your purchase. And um, I think you already have access to it if you are a VIB member instead of the Rouge, the Rouge tier. So I'm a Rouge member. I placed my order as soon as I woke up on April 5th. I did receive my box um, a while ago, um, but I haven't had a chance to film it, so I'm filming it now. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I do a lot of empties videos. I do a lot of haul unboxing videos and review videos. So if you like that kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video. And if you would consider subscribing, I am a microscopic channel, so any little bit helps. So yeah, let's get started. I have a lot of goodies. I'm so excited. These are things I wanted to purchase forever. So first and foremost is this from Fenty Beauty. This is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So if you watch my last empties video, my March empties video, I did talk about my issue with the Summer Friday skin tint and it turned out to have a reaction on my skin and just was not my favorite. Um, but I really wanted to try this one. I've, I've, I talked in that video of how much I wanted to try this one and, you know, I just kind of pulled the trigger and purchased it. So I did already take it out of the box, um, because I was just so excited to try the, the shade and see if it was a good shade match for me. Um, so I got it in the shade nine, um, it says it's light to medium coverage. This is what it looks like. Very, very small. You know how I feel about shrinkflation and makeup, not my favorite. So it's like, you know, a little squeezy tube. Um, but here's the thing that I'm kind of not sure about. I think I may have gotten too deep of a shade. Um, so like here on my hand, it looks fine. But I actually think for my skin, like for my face, it might be too warm. It might be too warm. I'll keep you guys posted. If you guys want me to do like a full review on it, I can and I will. Um, but I think it might be too um, warm of a shade. So I might um, exchange it and get maybe the 8 or even the 7. I think that'll probably be a better match for me but so far i do like um the coverage level it's not like another skin tint where you can't like the summer fridays one where it really like was super super sheer this one is not like that i don't think this one i think provides a little more coverage and i am really excited about that blurring effect um that's kind of the main reason why i wanted to try this product so i might exchange this for um a different shade I might exchange it. Okay, uh, next is something that I've been wanting to purchase for a while. This would be my second time purchasing this product. And that is this from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter, um, lip balm for lack of a better term. Um, I really like this lip balm. This, I, I went, I purchased it during the sale a couple years ago. It is so huge. It's literally like, the biggest lip balm I've ever seen in my life. My favorite is the smell. It smells so good. It smells like a dessert. It's not like, it's a little bit like vanilla, a little bit of coconut, a little bit of like creme brulee kind of smell. It smells so delicious. But more importantly than that, I really like the texture. 
it leaves on my lips or like the texture of my lips after using the product it is a really nice lip balm it's expensive it's 18 dollars. you know it's pretty hefty for a lip balm but it is worth every penny it's huge so it lasts a long time the other the other one that i purchased lasted me like a year and it smells so delicious and it really lives leaves your lips really soft really supple really moisturized and it's just kind of hard for me to be honest to find a good lip balm most of them feel very waxy and like they don't moisturize the lips they just kind of like sit on top of the lips and then some of the lip masks i feel dry out my lips so i just had to go back to something that i know works which is this one i really like the one from drunk elephant if you've watched my videos for a long time you know that i i also ran through that one and i really enjoyed it but i think this is my number one so i'm really happy to have purchased it again staying on lips is this product from summer fridays this is the dream lip oil and i purchased it in the shade blush dreams so i have been seeing this everywhere i have been really wanting to try it um i really like the summer fridays lip products i really like their lip balm butters um those like the ones in the little tube i really like that one um i purchased the one in like vanilla beige and i really enjoyed it up until the tube like broke and like started leaking everywhere and ruined my gucci bag which is a whole nother story and i was so upset even though i really enjoyed the product i did not like the component that it came in and then for christmas my friend got me a set of the all of the lip balms in all the different shades but like a mini like all of them were minis and so i actually carry those in my purse and i really enjoyed them so i figured that i would try the dream lip oil because it's in a safer component it's not a squeezy tube it's like you know like an actual you know component and the color is so pretty it is so so pretty i really enjoyed it and what i like about it is i really like the color but i also like that it's it really does feel like a lip oil i've actually tried this before um it feels like a lip oil it doesn't feel sticky or like clumpy or anything so i'm really excited i'm gonna put this like in my purse after i film this video and just keep it in there because i think this is one of those you know how there's some lip i don't know if you guys are like this but there's some lip products that like at least for me like i'll put them on before i go out of my house but i don't take those lip products with me and then there are other lip products that like i keep in my purse and like reapply throughout the day i feel like there's a difference i don't know if maybe that's just me but anyways i feel like this is the kind of lip product that you can leave in your purse and like reapply throughout the day and yeah it'll just go with whatever you're doing it'll go with your makeup it'll go with your outfit it's just like an easy lip product okay um also staying on the trend of lips is this product from nars if you watched my march empties video i did talk about how i was going to restock on this this is afterglow lip balm from nars in the shade laguna i really really love this product i honestly was shocked how much i like these nars lip balms I really like them so if you watch that video i'm not gonna harp on it because i i really like harped on it in that video laguna is my favorite but i also really really enjoy the the one in the shade dolce vita and also in the shade orgasm which is like the really light shimmery pink um i didn't feel comfortable buying all three of them because i'm just not going to get to all of them at the same time so i figured i would buy laguna because laguna is just so sheer and like this golden like it just gives this like golden hue to your lips and if you like like nude or like brownish lip colors which i do oh laguna is just perfect i love it so much so i think it'll be perfect for the summer it was perfect for the summer last summer so yeah so i purchased that one but i have every intention of purchasing the other two um, I'll probably get those in the next sale. Okay, another thing I'm so happy I purchased, which I also talked about in that video, is <clears throat> the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in my perfect shade, Patagonia. 
Uh, it is literally the most perfect shade for me. I love it. It is the perfect shade match. This is just the best, the absolute best foundation ever. Like, I know it's like overhyped and like everyone talks about it, but like for good reason, because it really is just like the best. The be You can already tell the difference between this shade and the Fenty one. This is already like a little bit lighter and it's a little more neutral undertone. So I can already tell this is gonna be a better match. I can already tell. So yeah. So yeah, I love this foundation. It's worth every penny. It's worth all the hype it gets. It's just the best foundation, truly. So I honestly have been lost without it. I pretty much finished it like in the like beginning, middle of March. And I've been having to mix foundations to try and get my perfect shade because I'm you know, I'm quite pale right now. So anyways, Patagonia is like the perfect shade match for me for like nine months out of the year. So yeah. Okay, speaking of skin, I also purchased this from Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. This is a priming face serum and I have it in the shade Main Squeeze. I have been wanting this product for such a long time and I just didn't for whatever reason pull the trigger before this product is kind of like i can't get it oh, oh there it goes this product is kind of like um like the charlotte tilbury flawless filter if if the charlotte tilbury flawless filter had a baby with like the glow recipe dewdrops, it would be this product that's probably the best way i can explain this product it's basically, yeah, it's a priming serum is what it is. Um, and I think this has like skincare like ingredients in it or like it has like, yeah, it has glycerin, has niacinamide. So it has like, it has like hydrating, you know, ingredients and things like that. So yeah, so basically this is just supposed to like prime the skin for makeup and give you like a hydrated glowy base. So that is what it looks like. And then you just, you know, spread it around. But it's not like super glowy and it actually feels so moisturizing. Yeah, it feels like moisturizer. It feels like moisturizer. This is gonna be a good product. I'm so excited for this product. I've wanted it for a while and I don't know. I just, you know, I have the e.l.f. The, the e.l.f. dupe for the Flawless Filter. I have that product and I'm still kind of working through that product. And I have like another dupe for the for the glow recipe do drops so that's kind of why i took a while to buy it but i'm so excited i picked it up during this sale and i can't wait to use it i'm so excited okay another thing i purchased face wise is i have been wanting this mask for so long it's been in my loves tab for like a year and a half and again one of those products i just never got around to purchasing this from Origins. This is the Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I'm so excited. This product has really, really good reviews on Sephora. I've heard really good things about this mask. I used to love Origins. I would use Origin products a lot back in the day. And I really wanted to try this mask. They said it's really good for people with oily skin, which is me. Uh, I am very acne prone. I have very reactive skin and very, very oily uh t-zone so yeah i'm really excited to try this product and if you guys would like an update by the way on any of these products let me know i'm happy to do like a speed review kind of video or like an update video and just like update you guys on how i'm liking everything again some of these products i have used before and some of them i have not so let me know if you're interested in that i'd be happy to do that and last but not least is this product from salt and stone this is the Santal and Vetiver Body Lotion. I purchased this um, because I use the deodorant and I really, really like the deodorant. I love the smell. If you are familiar with Le Lavo Santal 33, it pretty much smells like that. Not exactly, but it does smell like that. And I love hand cream. I always need hand cream around. So I figured that I would try the Salt and Stone one because I already love the scent. And I will keep you guys posted on the actual formula if it dries down or, you know, if it like, you know, is greasy or whatever. I'll let you guys know in that update video. But yeah, I'm so excited to have purchased it. I always need to have hand cream around and I love the scent. So yeah, 
So yeah guys, that was my Sephora VIB sale haul and unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below what you have purchased during the sale and what products you would like an update on or all of them. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.